Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Bros Talking Sports. That is right, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all of the above. All right, we're going to get into Monday Night Football along with yesterday's uh, Week 12 games. Okay, you guys, the finisher up from Week 12. Okay, we had three games on Thanksgiving. We're going to finish it up from yesterday and get into Monday Night Football tonight okay you guys again thank you so much for tuning in like comment subscribe and share all right we had the bears at the vikings tonight you guys this game was actually a game that you didn't have to tune in for okay you guys the vikings and the bears wow this was a defensive game all the way the vikings went to i mean the bears went to the vikings and upset them all right you guys the bears won 12 to 10 and they go to four and eight the vikings fall to six and six one good thing about that you guys you know i like the vikings i like uh her cousins i like jay jetty but um since he's at both of them are out okay you guys they do fall to six and six and that is good for my lines okay you guys it keeps us with a three game lead and uh, i'll accept it okay bears won 12 to 10 you guys josh dobbs Four interceptions today, you guys. He ties a record today. Four interceptions, 185 yards, only one touchdown, you guys. The entire Vikings had 242 total yards of offense. And, wow, couldn't get it done, you guys. Those four interceptions, one went to Edwards, Gordon, Johnson, and Brisker. Brisker, okay? Epic, all four of them stand up. You guys, defense stand up. Chicago Bears stand up. They had 317 total yards. Justin Fields came to play 27 of 37, 217 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. He did rush for 59 yards. But, again, this was all about the defense, okay? Johnson and Herbert, they added another 59 yards. But DJ Moore, 11 catches, 414 yards. I'll take that. All right, you guys? But the kicker. Cario Santos made a 30-yard field goal with 10 seconds left, and it sealed the deal. Okay, you guys, that was his fourth field goal of the night. He didn't miss one in the first, but he made four, and the Bears got the victory, you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that, man, you know. Josh Dobbs, he he looked human. You know, the first uh, couple weeks, they was talking about him being – the pastronaut and uh, all this stuff. But listen, he came back down to earth, okay? Four interceptions, that's epic, Vikings 6-6. Six and six. I'll take it, as I said. All right, guys. <sighs> Next up, I didn't really want to get to this game, okay, you guys? But I got to get to it. You guys know who I, how I feel about my Buffalo Bills, and my Bills went to Philadelphia yesterday. And they played a hell of a game. Let's just say that, okay? Bills fans, still, I would like to say, stand up, okay? The season's not over yet. We are 6-6. Six and six. That is epic, you guys. A lot of those six games that we lost were really close, and a lot of them we really shouldn't have lost, point blank. This game we shouldn't have lost. We shouldn't have went to overtime. In fact, we did. The Eagles, they pulled out a close one over my Bills. 37 to 34 in overtime. Let's get to it, you guys. My Buffalo Bills, really quick, they came out with 505 total yards. Epic, okay? You look at that and you look at the 378 yards that Philly put up, and you would think that Buffalo won the game, all right? I tell you that Josh Allen was 29 to 51. He threw two touchdowns, one interception, of course, because that's what he does. But 81 yards rushing and another two touchdowns rushing, four total touchdowns from Josh Allen. You would also think that the Bills won, all right? But then you jump over to the other side and you got that bad man, Jalen Hurts. Five total touchdowns on the night, okay? 200 passing yards, three, three touchdowns in the air, and two on the ground, along with 65 yards rushing. You guys, Jalen Hurts actually played one of the complete games I have seen. Next to Josh Allen's, okay, you guys, both of these games, uh, this is actually the first game in NFL history that both 
quarterbacks threw for a couple and ran for a couple. All right, this was epic. This was actually the game of the week, hands down. And um, Bill shouldn't have lost. I'm not feeling good about that, you guys. The Eagles dominated. They're 10 and 1. And um, they got it done in a thriller. Jalen Hurts, when he went in for that last touchdown, he ran and put his hands straight out, and the crowd was just feeling him. And, you guys, he really made me a believer. I'm not even going to lie to you, man. He is unstoppable. Nobody is stopping him or the Eagles. I've been picking against him all year, and they just keep getting it done. Philly has actually made me a believer, and the Bills should have beat them. I told you all last week if the Bills came out and won, then I would absolutely come out and be – just skyrocketing, you know what I mean? But the Bills did not get it done, you guys. Uh, Cook and Murray, 100 yards, or Cook, 100 yards, Murray, 30 yards. Gabe Davis, 6 of 105 yards, one touchdown. Diggs had 74 yards, Kincaid had 38, and Shakir had 47. Listen, you guys, the Bills in this game, they were up 17-7 to at the half, you guys. I was feeling ecstatic about it. I was like, yeah, this is what we do. All right, those close games we lost didn't mean nothing. This is what we do. We win the big ones, and we lost. All right, you guys, uh, Hurts only had 33 yards in the first half. The Eagles' total offense was only 99 yards. Absolutely, the Bills was winning this game, and they did not get it done. Gosh, man, my Bills. All right, you guys, listen. Allen, he threw an interception to James Bradbury. That was huge, okay? That was huge. It sets the Eagles up for a touchdown. And, um, yeah, that was big. <sighs> Real quick, I just want to give a shout-out to Philly, okay? DeAndre Swift, 80 yards. Gainwell, 26 yards. Devontae Smith, 106 yards. A.J. Brown, 37 yards with a touchdown, okay, you guys? But the play of the game, Jake Elliott, six. 59 yard field goal, damn near 60 to win, or actually to go to overtime. Okay, you guys, that was epic. I would have iced the game, but it was pouring down rain. There was no way I thought he was going to make it. And uh, man, he knocked it down. That was insane to go to overtime. Bills got the ball first in overtime. I thought for sure we was going to drive down and win it and score a touchdown. We were driving, but then we got stopped. It was just crazy, you guys. Uh, Josh Allen threw a questionable pass. I don't know if it was uh, behind. I don't know if the receiver didn't go the right way. But, uh, Davis, you guys, we got to get this together. That should have been a win. We saw last week with uh, um, Kansas City dropping a game winner. But, listen, the Eagles are finding a way to win, and they're getting it done. Got to give them respect where respect is due. And uh, the Eagles, they're the only team – to be 10 and 1 after losing the Super Bowl. That's another uh stat for you guys too, okay? Eagles just proving everybody wrong and especially me, but Bills fans stand up because I still have faith. Taking it game by game, but I'm still have faith and we're going to get it done, okay guys? Man, I did not want to talk about that Bills game at all. Real quick, uh I oh, I also want to talk about those Steelers. You know I love the Steelers, but I also love my Bengals. Bengals, Josh, uh, Joe Burrow's out, and uh, Jamal Chase. You know I, I didn't think he was going to be doing anything, but listen up, okay, you guys. The Steelers were at the Bengals, a rivalry game. Steelers prevailed, sixteen to ten. Okay, some low scoring games uh, over here, but yeah, sixteen to ten. The Steelers, seven and four. Steeler Nation, stand up. All right, you guys, as you know, we fired Matt Canada. And then for the first time in 58 games, we want to go ahead and decide to run for 421 yards. Come on, Pittsburgh. Stand up. Listen up. 421 yards. When you fire Matt Canada, you got the runner bass coach and the quarterbacks coach stepping in. All right, Mike Sullivan. Let's go, you guys. They're calling plays. They're one game behind the Ravens. Well, you know, Ravens. We'll get to that game in a minute. All right, you guys. Uh, yeah, the Steelers got it done in their 7-4. I'll take it. Uh, on the other side, Jake Browning, 19-26, 227, one touchdown and one interception. Joe Mixon had 16 yards. 
and 44 yards rushing. I mean, uh, receiving. And then Chase had four catches of 81 yards. Not too shabby. But Burrow's out, and it will be hard to put wins on the board. So I am going to have to fall back on my Bengals. Still a nation. Stand up. All right, Mike Tomlin, get the get the uh, crew ready, and let's see if we can go back out and put up 400 total yards. All right, at least put up, you know, 350 or something like that. All right, but let's get to it. Steelers, y'all got it done, okay? Next up, week 12 NFL on Bros Talking Sports, you guys. We had the Bucks at the Colts. All right, I'm going to just breeze through this really quick. The Bucks lost. I actually picked the Bucks to go into the Colts and win, and the Colts got it done. 27-20 to 20 on 394 total yards. The Bucks only had 298 yards. Uh, Gardner Mishu, 24-41, 251 yards, no touchdowns. He did have an interception. And, uh, yeah, Michael Pittman, 13 targets, 10 catches, 107 yards. Colts D came up big, a strip sack with uh, just over two, uh, under two minutes to go. Okay, guys, it was huge. Uh, the Bucks, though, two-time defending e- NFC South champs. This is their fourth straight loss. Baker. 199 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Mike Evans, 70 yards and two touchdowns. That sums it up. The Colts pulled out a close one, 27 to 20. Well, yeah. Let's get it, guys. All right. Quick runners up real quick. The Dolphins. Ooh, my Dolphins. For some reason, they keep finding a way to win. They are three games over my Bills. They went to the Jets, and they got it done, 34 to 13. They go up to 8 and 3. Jets fall to 4 and 7. Two a 243 yards, one touchdown. Moster, 94 yards, two touchdowns. And Waddle, 114 yards. Okay, you guys, they showed up. They showed out. I hate to say it, but they got the victory. All right. Next up, we have the Chiefs going to Las Vegas. That is right. The Chiefs got it done as well. This was a close one until the end, but the Chiefs prevailed. They pulled away 31 to 17. The Chiefs go up to 8 and 3 as well. You guys, the Raiders fall to 5 and 7. That is huge in a rivalry game. Mahomes had 298 yards, two touchdowns. I don't know what it is. Man, he got to get over those three three fifties. Okay, we, these receivers: Pacheco, pa, well, Pacheco, 55 yards, two touchdowns. Rice, 107 yards, one touchdown. Okay, but we need some more people stepping up. Uh, yeah, man, we need some people stepping up if they're gonna. Repeat Super Bowl champs. All right. Next up, the Rams went to Arizona, you guys, and got the victory. The Rams 37 to 14 over the Cardinals. Cardinals fall to two and ten, and the Rams go to five and six. Wow. Stafford 229 yards, four touchdowns. All right. Four tutties on him. Kyron Williams, 143 yards. And Murray in the loss at 256 yards and one touchdown okay you guys murray this is only his like i believe third game back he's still warming up and getting it going but uh stafford and the rams got it done all right next up we had the browns going to those broncos this was epic you guys know i'm a broncos fan i hopped off the bandwagon and i've been running for the wagon ever since but they prevailed the broncos 29 to 12 they go up to six and five. And may I say, let's ride. All right, you guys. Russell Wilson is getting it done. He only threw 134 yards, one touchdown. I don't see how in the hell they got that done. But Sean Payton, he said, you know what? We're going to run this. Okay, you guys. Wilson, 100. I mean, uh, Sutton, 61 yards. Williams, 65 yards. But Thompson, Oh, Thompson Robinson in the loss, 134 yards, one touchdown. But as I said, the Broncos was running the ball down the Browns' throat. This was actually a really good game. But the Broncos prevailed. Russell Wilson got it done. And they are 6-5. Six 6-5. and, five. Six and five. All right, you guys. They are creeping on those Chiefs. Don't, Chiefs, don't mess, it up. don't mess nothing up over there. Uh, all right, next up, Week 12 NFL, we have the Saints going to Atlanta. They played the Falcons. The Falcons prevailed 24 to 15. This was a good one, you guys, but the Falcons and the Saints both go to five and six. Ritter, uh, Ritter had 168 yards, one touchdown. Robinson had 91 yards, and uh, 
London had 91 yards as well. In the loss, though, Derek Carr, 304 yards. I'll take that. I'll take that car. All right. Next up, we had the Patriots. Patriots at the Giants, you guys. This was big. You know why? Because the Patriots lost a close one. Seven to ten. They missed the field goal at the end to tie it to go to overtime. I really believe that was on purpose. But listen up. The Giants fall. I mean, go up to four and eight. The Patriots fall to two and nine. And Mac Jones, only 89 yards. DeVito, 191 yards, one touchdown. Saquon, 46 yards. And height, 109 yards. Patriots are trying to get this number one pick. I truly do believe that. And uh, we will uh, see if they can make some trades to those Bears or something and uh, see about what happens. All right. Next up, you guys, we have the Jags going to the Texans. This one was huge. I thought it was going to be game of the week. Um, next to obviously my Bills and Eagles, but the Jags got it done. Trevor Lawrence, CJ Stroud. This was epic. Jags win 24 to 21 and the Jags go to eight and three Texans fall to six and five Trevor Lawrence, 364 yards, one touchdown, but CJ Stroud, 304 yards, two touchdowns, and he ran for 47 yards in the loss. Okay, you guys, I, I love the Texans. I like where they're going. They got some tough games coming up, but we will see what happens, okay? Keep the keep the ride rolling, CJ. Um, next up, guys, last game, we had the Panthers going to the Titans. And uh, as you know, the Panthers, yes, they fired the coach. They're 1-10, and, and they deserve to get the fire the coach. They lost 17 to 10, and the Titans got it done. Will Levis, 185 yards, and King Henry, 76 yards, two touchdowns. D Hop, 49 yards, and the Titans got it done. Obviously, I picked the Titans, everybody did, and they prevailed. Wow. Guys, this was a tough week for me in the NFL. Week 12, you know my Lions lost on Thanksgiving. You know the Cowboys got it done, and you know my Bills lost. Bengals lost. Broncos won, even though I'm not on the bandwagon. So the whole week for me, only thing that was was good was the food. And I, uh, yeah, I'm just so glad that this is coming to a new week. Week 13 coming up. Make sure you tune in Thursday. We got another great game for you. And uh, tune in tomorrow as well for the top five power rankings of the NFL. It will be a big shakeup, as you guys know. All right, let's get it. Week 12 is in the books. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. We out.